Friday everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to continue reading about our fable but we're going to be practicing our You're going to be writing the differences between the country mouse and the town mouse. Specifically you're going to be focusing on the differences in their lives. So while you're reading today you're going to take notes focusing kind of on the different aspects of their lives. What does maybe one eat? What does the other one eat? Where does one live versus where the other one lives? Where does one sleep versus where the other one sleeps? Does one do something the other one doesn't do? Or does one have something in its life that the other one does not? So while you're reading, focusing on those differences, today is all about the differences. How are they not alike? So while you're reading, take notes, focusing on the different aspects of their life, so the different parts of their life. Life. Take some time, pause the video. I know you can do it. So you are going to be focusing in writing today. And you're focusing on the differences between the two mice, their lives. So I have a quick sentence starter to help your brain start working and start generating ideas and thoughts. It says the difference between the country mouse and the city mouse lives are, and you're gonna state some of the differences. I'm going to be asking for at least two sentences. Not a lot. You can, you have more. Yes, of course you can. Do you have to have more? No. But I'm asking for at least two differences or two sentences, please. Take your time, pause the video. You got this, I believe in you. All right, now that you're done writing, Let's go over our connections for to ELA today. Um, so what you're going to be doing after reading in the afternoon, whenever you do it. Connections back to ELA. So use the plan you created on Wednesday, and it's going to help you write. You're going to be writing today complete sentences. So I'm going to show you my plan that I made the other day and show you how that's going to help me generate my thoughts. So here is the plan I created the other day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help try to save and protect air. I'm going to talk about possibly bad air. Here's the thing with plans. If you feel like you want to change it while you're writing, you're welcome to. The good thing is I plan. So then and the middle part of my text, I'm going to talk about, or the middle part of my writing, I'm going to talk about the reasons and why we need clean air, how and what I'm going to do, and why I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to wrap it up just by stating what I said before or even reasons why we need cleaner, anything like that. So I'm going to give you just a quick little how to do this. So what you're going to do is use your plan you created. Looking at it, you're going to reference it while you write. So it's going to help from one to the other. Um, I'm going to do my best to try this. So. I'm going to start off by saying air is important for all. Are we all breathe air? All creatures breathe air? Some version of that. Or air and oxygen is necessary for life. I like it. Air is necessary for life, period. Then I'm going to keep going. I'm going to say why we need air. And I'm going to continue with my writing. Your job is to use the plan you created to help you write. So use both. Look at them both at the same time. Have one on one side, one on the other, and write. I cannot wait to see what you want to save or protect and how you're going to do it. I'm so proud of you. Keep up the hard work and have a great week. Bye guys.